Big drought buster last night. Keeping the corn alive another day. Or in that case, maybe another hour. Morning, folks. We got a quick job to do. A couple critters in that north feed lot there have bad eyes. Enough to where we don't want to just use darts, use a dart gun. That's It can be an expensive way to do it, so we just rather do it the best way, which is get them up, give them a shot with a syringe. So anything that has a bad eye or looks like it's watering even a little bit, we got them up. They're going to be going in this pen. Bye. Yep. Good. And the ones with good eyes, they're just going right back out to their pen. So this is about as bad as they get right here. You can be feeding, going down your bunk line, you don't see them for a few days, and then all of a sudden you got something like that. Oh, we're spraying a antimicrobial, antimicrobial in the eye, and then giving them a shot of antibiotic. That's not fun. It'll quit water and the swelling will go down and uh, it'll maybe leave a little bit of cloudiness, but that's about it, and he'll feel a lot better and eat better. Hey, come on. Hey. She's probably got three, four inches on the wrist. Now, if I poke this pink eye, and I poke myself in the eye, yeah. do I get pink eye? I would say. Hmm. Especially if you poke yourself good and hard and maybe do a little damage. I just wanted to explain something to everybody. You know, over the years, people have said, you guys sure work your cattle a lot and stuff. Some of the best advice that I ever got, Cole, was 
when you're raising cattle there's not one main thing that you can do to improve your herd there's a lot of little things so when we keep their their eyes good they have a better appetite when they feel good when their lots are clean when they're they have good water good feed um, they're happy they're not nervous I mean add all that stuff together and, and they perform better and also breed them with the sunny black Angus bull that's that's what I'm saying maybe there is one main thing <laughs> empty Thank you. Yeah. It's not the heat. It's the gosh darn humidity. It's the humidity. There, you can use either one of those. Okay. Yeah. I'll choose the, my favorite. I have a feeling you'll choose both. Probably. How come it's so low? It's the humidity. <laughs> it's not the heat, it's the humidity. I don't even get that. What's? I don't even know what that is. Uh, so, it's like the embarrassment of being sweaty and gross looking. Oh. You know, like humiliated. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Or is humility a good thing? Hmm, that might be the opposite of humility. We ground hay yesterday, got a big pile. That's all we have left here for silage. We're starting to bring dump truck loads back from Jeff's because he has a little extra. And you know, since we've been buying hay and it's expensive, we've been buying lower quality hay. So there's some, you know, millet, maybe some two-year-old stuff in there, corn stalks. We've been feeding Dakota Gold Pro pellets back here because they're high in protein. Really brings the ration together. That protein helps them break down those lower quality feeds. Got a little mixture left from the other day. All the cattle are up eating, so we'll knock those flies off of them. Just like last time, you know, you get a little rain and those flies really show up after that.
these mornings when it's sprinkling and we're feeding hay. These tractors just get caked with that stuff. About can't see through these windows. Got some fancy Angus back here. I want to run a little thing past you folks. If we were able to sell Sunny Farms Angus beef online, how many of you would think you'd maybe like a box? Or maybe how many of you would buy exclusively all the meat you need from Sunny Farms online? A lot of people have said, hey, I need a Sunny Farms ribeye if I could get my hands on one. I think that'd be a nice thing we could provide. Down this bunk line, there's kind of a low spot and our tires for our feed wagon kind of fall into it. And then that unload auger gets pretty close to hitting on the bunk line. So we're going to bring a little gravel with the skid loader over here and fix that up. A little change of plans. Dad just texted me, said the bull over on this pasture close by has a bad eye. That's the animal in that pasture that you want to have pink eye the least amount. Not able to see them women that he's trying to breed. Got to get lined up and get, get the job done. So we'll load up a dart and give him one. With the short hay crop and us not making many bales, I guess that means, to me anyway, that project season is going to start a little earlier in the year. I got about four to six gates that I want to build, replace, so we'll be concreting some posts in, welding up some gates and, and weld them on with the stick welder. So we're going to get started. Just going to do one, do the frame of one smaller gate and call it a day. I am, I am moist. It's humid out here. I guess these work better when you plug them in. Can't get much better than that. Oh 
only got one done, probably got three or four more to go. Obviously I gotta put the uh, continuous fence panel through it yet. We'll be getting on that, I think maybe next week. You know, dad's going on vacation for like eight days, him and my mom. My parents are gonna drive around like Yellowstone and just driving and I don't know if they even know where they're going. But So they're gonna be gone for a while, so kind of tackle some of the projects that I want to get done and some of those are welding projects so anyway folks thanks for watching love to see you next time have a good one that's some bad land out there <laughs>